are. It is absolutely tremendous where you are right around Australia to welcome you back to the NRL Schoolboys Cup for 2022. This year it's named the Peter Mulholland Cup and it's just terrific to have your company right here on the Daily Telegraph. Today it will be the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield taking on Farrah coming live from downtown Cabramatta. The team lists are in. Let's go through the home side, the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. They look this way. At fullback, we have Taj Calhoun. On the wings is Billy Arena and Noah Funa. The three in the four is Lola Hia and Ilavalu. The seven, the eight is Daniels and Miller and a very strong forward pack. Ash, Alhazam, Mari, Buda Ayaluta, Myers, Mawaga Tutia, and Archie Riley. And of course, they're coached by Frank Pritchard. So here come the Patrician brothers of Fairfield coming out onto the field. What a moment for Schoolboys Rugby League to be able to come through the last couple of years and this year no doubt will be a very very special Peter Ma Holland Cup year we're really looking forward to this one we stand by now for Farah they're about to come out onto the field here they come now the boys from Tamworth the boys from the bush they're back in town they've come to the bright lights of the city and we look very forward to calling them here this morning. Let's go through their side. Of course, a coach by Ethan Sherlock. From the back is Willick. On the wings is Kelly and also Hooley. The three and the 18 is Hatton and Battle. The six and seven is Hamlin and Henderson. And the forward pack of Woods, Wainwright, Sykes, Spick, Wilson. And then a change bench of Porter, Smith, Mitchell and Sebastian Sykes. So we're going to get underway. The Schoolboy Cup, the Peter Marholland Cup of 2022 is alive and well here in Sydney. Sit back and enjoy this exclusive coverage as we see the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield coming back. And this is Mari. He's just a relentless defender. They call him the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the side, Mari. Very tough. Always drags in defenders at every occasion. Back away now, it comes from Miller. We go forward here in the opening set of six of the Peter Mulholland Cup. They've come to the halfway line. Here's Myers. Good, strong, determined run. He was the 2022 Bulldogs Harold Matthews Player of the Year. He went around in the 2022 President's Cup representative season as well so he's got an extreme pedigree of talent in his attacking arsenal here good tackle downstairs there wasn't it there by Al Hazem hard as nails in defense there is again in the tackle there for Fairfield as Farrah Agriculture College being met one-on-one -on -one tackle tremendous here in the middle of the field coming away from the, the southern end in the first half of football. So it's the fifth and the last, so they'll need a good kick here. Back to Henderson. Good spiral kick down the middle, and there's a mistake. There's a mistake here from Calhoun. He won't be happy with that. The elusive ball runner. So Farrah down, what a chance for them. Going to get the footy here right on the 30 metre line. A tremendous start. Gale like conditions here in Cabramatta for this one as well. So the high kicking raids will no doubt be a prominent feature in round one here of the Peter Mulholland Cup. As we see now, Farrah inching their way into the 
Red zone. Slowly to their feet here. Up towards the 10 metre line they rumble. So looking for the first try, as we see now, Milson did well. Dragged in two defenders. And now this is Oliver Sykes. Looking for first blood. Back from Woods. He's dropped down there by Calhoun. They come the short side. Henderson goes short or right. Back to Spinks. It's the last tackle now. Wainwright, will they kick one across field? Here's Henderson. He's chasing. Can they get them in goal? The chasers are coming through. Well done, Patrician Brothers of Fairfield, to get back into the field of play. That was Nona Vua. Knows every blade of grass here. Now Avuna as well. He's a Cabramatta junior. They name him Bizza. And of course, the nickname Bizza comes after Brian To'o in the NRL. So they find the touch line here, 30 metres out from their own goal line. Onto the ball now, this is Funa I Uta. And the Parramatta Harold Matthews. Played a lot of junior representative football. Definitely one to watch throughout this season. Ash now sends it to the left. Myers delivers. Mari now with the footy. So a couple of metres in from that eastern touchline. Ash goes down sideline. Mola here, stepping, coming back on the right-hand side. There's your first try of the season. Incredible. The boys celebrating, and they've only had to wait four minutes, and they lead by four points to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Well, that was just unbelievable play down the left-hand side of the field. Ash, well, what can he do, the youngster? He's a Parramatta SG ball hooker. He reads the game tremendously well. Just a high football IQ. And a lot of people at the school that we had a chance to have a chat with yesterday is actually identifying him, and this is a huge call at such a young age, but they're pretty much saying that he could well be the next Cameron Smith. A very young Cameron Smith. Well, he's had the hindsight to set the first try up, and a tremendous try it was. So here's the kicking conversion now from right in front of the post. They don't come much easier in the game of rugby league than this. Calhoun. He scored three tries in the grand final. In the SG ball for the West Tigers. Creates a lot of chat from the back. An elusive ball runner. He's very wiry. But strong and tough. And proficient with the goal kicking. What a start for Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. Six points to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. And of course, we mentioned that the Schoolboys Cup this year will honour the legacy of one of the most influential talent scouts in the game. The life and passion of longtime NRL scout and talent manager Peter Marholland. Tremendous to have Peter Marholland's name associated with the NRL Schoolboys Cup. And for the third straight year, News Corp will ride shotgun with the NRL throughout the season, live streaming all of the action of the Peter Marholland Cup, which gets underway here today. This is our first clash of the year. It's the birthplace, as we know, for many NRL careers over many decades of rugby league here in Australia. So there's your hair finding Myers. Good ball. Funa Ayaluta. 
running onto it with power and Gus. It's the last tackle now. What's their last play option? Al Hazem sends it. Away to Mari. Puts a kick over the top. It's a tremendous play by Farah. They've come up with the footy, but the referee here has just called it up. Beautiful little kick over the top, wasn't it? And Farah positioned themselves tremendously well. Over there was Noah Hooley. Nothing phases him. Only 18 years of age, Noah Hooley. A great finisher. Speed to burn. We've come to watch over the last couple of years that he's no stranger to an intercept try. And it's pretty much shut the gate once he gets into open pastures. As Farah looking to find the hole through the middle. Not forthcoming. Straight there into Jordan Miller. A powerhouse front rower for Patrician Brothers, Jordan Miller. He was the man of the match in the West Tigers, Harold Matthews Grand Final winning team as well. And he's actually eyeing down a spot in the Australian schoolboys team. So look out for him today as Farrah come up the commentary edge. So that's where they are, a couple of metres inside. Patrician Brothers Fairfield, end of the park. So here's Corey Lee. Will he go and get it? He does get it. It was in two minds there whether to take the ball on the full. We know what the bounce of the rugby league football can do. He was cool. He was calm and very collected there. As they now go through the middle, here's Chad Daniels. He comes to the fullback. He takes them on. He got it back to Arena. The foot race is on. Willick's chasing. Willick won't get him. Try number two. Billy Arena. What a try. Oh, he sets the Peter Marholland Cup alive and well. They've gone bang, bang. Two tries in ten minutes of football. Well... How good was that? Jordan Willick was chasing valiantly from Farah. The 17 year old, but Billy Arena, how quick is he? What a highlight. Brilliant work. And just letting everybody know, Billy, of course, he's a part of the, the Bulldogs development squad. But I think we've just seen his quickness, his versatility, and his strength, and his power to go 40 metres to get the second try in 10 minutes. Here for Patrician Brothers. So the kick again now for Taj Calhoun. Identical spot. The first try here on opening round, opening day, the Peter Marholland Cup. Looking to make it 12 0. That's as easy as they come in the game of rugby league. So it's all in front of Farah. They're down by 12 more points to nil. After 11 minutes of footy. And let's not remember, I mean, a lot of the cliches in this tournament, you know, a lot of people have said that they are the future, but they're not just the future stars of the NRL, but they're the leaders today of their schools and their communities. And that's what live streaming in conjunction with the NRL and the Daily Telegraph is all about. Yes, they could well go on to represent in the NRL that they are true leaders of their school on and off the field and in their local communities. We look forward to giving them the recognition that they all deserve. Of course, the players having a blinder here for, 
Fairfield early on, aren't they? Two tries. Here's Kalun again chiming in. Taken down there by Spinks. Here's Miller. Eyeing down the spot. The Australian schoolboys team, as we mentioned, we, we wish him well. Definitely the selectors have got a, a keen, watchful eye on him. Here's Kalu now. Going high. A tremendous take. By Hooling again. With this gale that's swirling around here in Cabramatta. Downstairs there was Jordan Miller. There's the lost ball. You can't do that against Patrician Brothers Fairfield. So the tackle counts restarted. They're eyeing off their third try. In the opening 10 minutes, here's Myers. Also from the Canterbury Bulldogs. Yeah, here the dummy half. Now there's a tiny knock on here. A tiny knock on, an uncharacteristic mistake there. But that's pressure from Farah coming over the top, enforcing the error. What a sigh of relief. Well, the boys from Tamworth, of course, coached by Ethan Sherlock. Assisted today by his trainers who will run in the yellow shirt, Brent Follington, and the blue shirt, Peter Stevens. The team travelled down from Tamworth yesterday. They've stayed overnight. They'll go back after this clash. What a tremendous school, a part of the wider community up there in Tamworth. Now, they have put the foot to the accelerator. Kowloon coming across in cover as Hooley. Well, he can't beat Kowloon there and also Madri and he's lost the footy. So they've got it back here, Fairfield. And Patrician Brothers go back on the attack. Now, here's another tiny knock on in the middle of the field. Just glancing over at our scoreboard, we've had 15 minutes, two tries in the opening clash of our Peter Mar Holland Cup of 2022. And for Farrah today, look no further than their intense front row duo. They might be down by 12, but they'll add plenty of fire to the tremendous rise of Farrah throughout the Peter Mahollan Cup. The Sykes brothers, they mean business in 2022. They're just what you probably classify and call them as bulldozing brothers. They, they grew up on the farm in northern New South Wales. And no doubt they'll be a critical for Farrah this year. Speaking of critical, Arena wants his second. Couldn't quite get there. Ball down about 10 metres away from the goal line. Calhoun switches it. Funerai Lota now takes play down inside the 10. So third try, they're eyeing off here. Yahir goes short to the left. Here's big Matt Halazem. He's close. Alhazem, he's hard as nails. And he's got the third try. The third try for Patrician Brothers. In 15 minutes, they're up by 16 points to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Well, Matt Alhazem, as I mentioned, hard as nails. He's got a tremendous high work rate. Definitely won't let you down. He's also a part of the the Dragons, SG ball side this season. The big number 10. We wish him all the best in his dream and his pursuit to crack into the New South Wales rugby league system. So Calhoun, a goal kicker's Dreams coming through early on in this one. Three tries from underneath the post, pretty much. And he's been able to bang home three tries and three conversions. So they are red hot. 
They're in the Peter Mulholland Cup early on. But yeah, it's a, a tremendous story coming out of Farah. Might be down by 18 points to nil, but as I was just saying, the Sykes brothers, they'll be front and centre, Oliver and, and Sebastian, who are only separated by a couple of years, are pretty much almost identical in every other way. Had a chance to talk to the coaches throughout the week and a few of the players and big raps on them. They pretty much say the, the, the coaching staff that they have no sense. They're just big, aggressive front rowers. They're very committed to their own, uh, pretty much their own craft. They cannot be questioned according to Farah's coaching, Ethan Sherlock, as we see a penalty going away from the visitors. So this will help their cause. Patrician Brothers, they're going to have the gale behind them. And that's the testament to the kick of the boot there of Chad Daniels. Plays for the North Sydney Bears and the Harold Matthews. A representative player for the Bears. So Patrician Brothers of Fairfield looking for their fourth try. And Yahia, he gets down low, goes to the line, and it gets there. Well, they're not looking for their fourth try. They've come up with it. Four tries in 20 minutes. They're keeping up with the clock. This time, Yahia. Wow, well, we just mentioned that he was being called amongst his peers as the young Cameron Smith. Early days, yet, yeah, but he's set up the first try, had a hand in the second, and now he's picked up a try, and he's put his name up in lights. Incredible work by the teenager. Well, he was just pivotal there, wasn't he? Caught the defence napping, put the foot to the accelerator, and nobody was going to catch him. Just reads the game very well. They say he's got a very high football IQ. Well, that's showing for everybody to see here early on. Kalud from the touchline. Bringing it back around and just falls short. So unsuccessful in his first miss of the, the morning here. There's Farah. Not wasting any time, are they, to get back underway here. It will have to be a tale of two halves in the opening clash here. Funa I Luta. Surging back onto the football. That's where he is, right on the 30 metre line as our cameras take you into the battle. Yeah, here switches it away from Daniels. And the junior North Sydney Bear is with it. Here's Archie Riley now. Off the interchange bench. We go forward. Back to Myers. And Bailey will play the ball. She's attracting three and fours in the defence over the top there. So you head to the right. Calhoun. Takes play down towards the, the 40 metre line. Last tackle now for Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. Look for the kick. Daniels. The chases are coming through. Lola Hare's chasing. This time it couldn't quite go to him. Did well there, Farah. And they've come away with it. Well, it's been a night, not an ideal amount of time up the other end of the field, have they? Patricia Brothers of Fairfield haven't allowed them to. We're just looking at our Daily Telegraph wall chart here. They've spent 75 minutes, 75% in the first half of football, trapped down inside their own end of the field. What a phenomenal stat. As they look to thump this kick high into the air. Underneath it 
Here's Lee, takes it well. Diffuses the, the situation quite brilliantly there. Corey Lee, a Cabramatta junior. Just lives down the road from here, actually. As I mentioned, there's a little bit of blade of grass here. Spent a lot of time in his junior days here. Bella Valu now. Four on his back, the centre three quarter. As your hair now goes short again to Archie Riley. He's returning after breaking his sternum, Archie Riley, earlier this year. As Lee tries to slice his way through inside, inside the, the 20, 20 and beyond. beyond. So the last, last tackle, tackle now for Fairfield. Fairfield. Big, Big numbers, numbers to the right. right. They'll, They'll look, look for Daniels. Daniels. Goes, goes to the, the grubber. grubber. There's, There's the, the chase. chase. And there's, there's the, the tackle, tackle by, by the instrumental. instrumental. Number, Number seven. seven. He's having, having a wow of, of the game. game. Missing Chad Daniels. Daniels. Coming, Coming up with the plays, plays when it's required. required. Great, Great kicking, kicking game, game here in the shoot. He's got, got very good game sense. sense. In the steps. As Mari now. now. So, so Big, Big Arnie, Arnie, that's, that's what, what they call him, Big Arnie, Arnie Schwarzenegger. I think, I think we, we now understand why. why. Looking, Looking for their fifth try at the, the first, first half here on opening round of the Peter Mulholland, Mulholland Cup. Cup. Carloon sent it to, to the right-hand side of the field. Here's Lee. He, he wants, wants to put his name up in lights. Now, now short and nuggety, they're, they're over for their fifth try. Their fifth try in 24, 24 minutes of footy. Wow. wow. How, How good, good was that? that? Well, that, that was just class, class again. again. And, and it all started, started again from Ash. Yeah, here, here again. again. The Paramount SG ball hooker. Gee, he gets, he gets this team going, going forward, forward, doesn't he, from, from Dummy Hart. Picks up good, good valuable leaders. He's got great hindsight, great, great vision. vision. His passing game, superb. He's working either side of the, of the hip with his beautiful passing. He can go left, he can go right. He switches it up quite nicely. Look out for that. Now. So the kick now from five metres to the right-hand side of the post for Taj Calhoun. Got to know him, as I mentioned. Picked up a hat-trick of tries in the grand final of the SG Ball for the West Tigers. On fire. After 26 minutes, they lead by 28 points to nil in round one of the Peter Mulholland Cup. On a blowy day to get our competition underway for 2022. Very, what is this, the third year straight? Yeah, it has to be. Hughes Corp will ride shotgun with the NRL throughout the season, live streaming all the action of the Pig and Mahon Cup getting underway today. We've got a big day tomorrow. Holy Crosses featuring in one of the clashes. All Saints of Maitland as well. The boys from the Hunter. Up there in Newcastle and Maitland, doing the Hunter Valley very proud. Calhoun again, finding Lee. Back to Calhoun, it was touched. He's being chased there by Willick. Fullback one on one, superb play. The now works to the right, here's Lee again. So 28 points to nil coming into half time as Kowloon finding Riley. You're here again. Kowloon. Daniels. Here's Lee. He takes them on. He wasn't tackled. And he gets up and he goes again. So a couple more left up their sleeve. You're here. Switches to the left. They dummy. Mari. Trying to back his own ability. He'll play the ball. 
great speed in this one. Back from Daniels. Great hands by Kalu. Puts onto the toe. He was taken off the footy. Referee says no, he wasn't. They give the ball back to Farah. And now they go back on the attack and they're back out towards their own 20 metre line. We have Peter Jolly in the commentary box. We're live and exclusive on the Daily Telegraph, Telegraph Sport. And don't forget, folks, we'll have all the highlights on our socials later this afternoon as well. So far, as I mentioned, there's been five tries. The, the production team in at the Daily Telegraph is going to have a very busy afternoon cutting all these highlights together. We've had big tackles. We've seen memorable moments. Probably not so memorable here. Farah, they've been able to not find the touchline as Noah Verna comes back away with the footy. He's the only lawler here now. Gee, he's built like a back rower, isn't he, with speed? Yeah, head out. Dangerous from dummy half. Taken down there, just inside the 40. Given away from Daniels. On it comes to Corey Lee. Nowhere to go. So inching their way back into the red zone. 28 points to nil. Calhoun, dummies, steps, goes himself. He'll get away, will he? No, he won't. He's brought down. What an elusive run of the football. What about the step? He's been told to play the ball back. Yahia sends it back to the right-hand side. Here's Lee. Can he offload? He does. Back to Calhoun. He puts it onto the toe. Arena. Arena will get there. And Arena will score. That's his second try in the opening round of the Peter Mulholland Cup. And Fairfield. They're dancing in the stands right now in round one of the competition. Well, how good was he? Billy Arena. He never, ever ended up taking his eyes off the kicker. And he's come away with it. Two tries in the first 29 minutes of footy. Probably one of the easiest tries that he'll score in his rugby league career. And he did it tremendously well. Not a huge crowd in here today, but of course you can, that's understandable when you've got a team coming down from Tamworth. So a lot of the, the school students from the Agricultural College will be glued to our live coverage this morning. I understand they're taking our coverage live and exclusive into the auditorium thanks to the Daily Telegraph. But they won't be liking what they're seeing at the moment. It's been one way traffic. They're facing a red hot Patrician Brothers. Kowloon from the touchline. With the breeze around it, he's got it. It's a beauty. 34 points to nil. That's right. If you've just clicked onto our live stream coverage, 34 points to nil at halftime, folks. So the schools will go back to the dressing sheds. And what we'll do right here on the Daily Telegraph, we'll take a break and we'll come back with all the second half action here. 34 points to nil in favour of the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. And welcome back to the opening round of the 2022 Peter Mulholland Cup. Peter Jolly with you in the broadcast box. And how good is it to have the NRL Schoolboy Cup back under the legacy of one of our most influential talent scouts that's ever been in the game of rugby league, Peter Mulholland. Pays tribute, no doubt, to the legacy of the former St. Gregory's College teacher who became one of pretty much the, the premier talent scouts in the game of rugby league and had a very proud affinity with the elite schoolboys competition.
So the teams are about to come back out onto the field. Here come the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. What a blitz in the first half of footy. So it will be Farah to get first use of the football in the second half here. And we're underway. And this one's gone in on the full. So not a great start for Patrician Brothers. If anything, this gale has intensified from the first half of footy. As Henderson sets it up this time now to Oliver Sykes. He's left no juice in the tank so far in this clash. As Farah now through Porter. Here's Hamlin. Open battle now. Hamlin again chiming in. Trying to get his arms away. Strong number six. Now Willock. He's been pushed back towards the 10 metre line. So here it is, it's the last tackle. Back away from Henderson, puts it onto the boot. And back into the field of play. Tremendous work. The Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. As they now approach the 10 metre zone and beyond. So we're actually calling this game from the in goal area here at Cabramatta and 10 metres out. You see now the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield angling it towards halfway, but it's a tiny knock on here. So psychologically, they could well think they're up by 34 points to nil. But it hasn't been a terrific three, four minutes for the youngsters. Kicking out on the full and now an error coming outside their own 30 metre line and this gives Farah a tremendous opportunity with the football which they've been deprived of in the first half of footy. As they come back away now through Spinks. He takes them on Spinks. Still going. What a run. Tremendous effort by Logan Spinks. Gee, he certainly loves the the, 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 uh, the tough stuff, doesn't he? Here's Porter now. Give him back away from Mitchell. Trying to put him on his back. Four over the top. Tremendous effort there. Lee was there. Came off his line and absolutely thumped him. Hamlin. Short ball. Henderson. Back to Wainwright. Makes all the... Good decisions from dummy half. Given back away now to Woods. As we can see, standing in the tackle. It's the last now. They go away to the left. Henderson puts in a kick for his flying winger. But Kelly couldn't quite come down with it. The ball's gone over the touchline in goal. So a sigh of relief there for Fairfield, the Patrician brothers. As they now bounce back off their own 30 metre line with good vigour. And the tackle there on this occasion, it was Mitchell. And Coburn battle. So that's where we are, right on the halfway line. Leading by 34 points to nil in this clash so far. Now they put the foot to the accelerator. Lola here. What a tackle. It's still on. They go from dummy half. And there's another one. Well, they've gone from one end of the field to the other in quick succession. 
beautiful work there by Billy Arena. And the winger, well, that's his hat trick. That's his third try for Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. And that try, wow, only in the fourth minute of play. And pretty much their first time with the footy. And they've been able to come away and score a meat pie. When it was all Farah applying that tremendous attack. But that kick didn't quite go the way they wanted it, did it in the corner there. And all of a sudden, Patrician Brothers have gone 100 metres. It's 38 points to nil. Try 40 now. The kicks are beauty from right in front. 40 nil here at New Arena Stadium here in Cabramatta. Well, Patrician Brothers, the captain, of course, for 2022 is, is Joshua Al Hazem. Under the almighty football brain of former Penrith Panther, the coach in, in Frank Pritchard. He's done a tremendous job. Of course, Frank Pritchard, what was it, about 280 plus games between his NRL playing days where he played for Canterbury. Played a lot of footy for Penrith and Parramatta. Pritchard, of course, also went over to the Super League and, and played for Hull. As his side now gets a penalty here, just short of the halfway line. Yeah, he had a tremendous couple of seasons over there in the Super League. He came back and throughout his illustrious career, he's played more than eight test matches for the Samoa national team. 27 test matches for New Zealand. And he's doing it with his great mate, Bill Burke, the assistant coach a long-term staff member here at the Very Proud School. As Patrician Brothers here looking to eye off another four-pointer. This time they come and surrender in the tackle, 10 metres out from the goal line. Good play, good tackle, good offload. Here's Vuna. Steps, gets down low. Can he get there? He's been held back in the field of play. Give him back way to Ilavalu. Calhoun kicks. Calhoun chases. He's got there. That's a try. Incredible. Absolutely incredible rugby league by Calhoun. He was chasing the football. They thought for a moment that the ball was going to go over the dead ball line, Farah. But Calhoun backed himself. Speed to burn. And he's put it down an inch away from the dead ball line. Second try of the second half, and it's 44 to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Well, Taj Kaloon, how good is he? We come to know him. We came to love him in the, the grand final. The SG ball. He's still riding that wave of emotion. A hat trick of tries. For the West Tigers, and he's having a, an almighty game here. The Patrician Brothers, and now the kick from the touchline. Looking to convert the, the beauty. And it was an absolute beauty, wasn't it? That ball just sitting up, absolutely perfect for him. So a couple of metres in from touch. Eyeing off the, the wobbly goalpost. The breeze. He'll have it behind him. Strikes it. And it's just pushed out to the right-hand side. But when you're up by 44 points to nil on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard, I don't think another extra two points will probably hinder the result here today. They are on fire, a real dominant force and another threat 
once more in the Peter Mulholland Cup. And you've just got to look at the tremendous talent that has come out of the school. Of course, Nathan Brown in, in 2010, the likes of Michael Vella. Can't forget the likes in the 70s and the 80s of Peter Sterling and, and Greg Alexander. Paul Langmack, Glenn Grief as well, along with Kyle White. It's been a tremendous pathway for Patrician Brothers. Been able to get many current NRL players and ARL players over many decades of schoolboy football. And now, again, they put the foot down. Well, the pedal on the car here today, it's showing a bit of wear and tear, that's for sure. But when you've got a Ferrari, you can go the distance, that's for sure. Now they come the short side again. Here's Daniels. Well, he was in two minds there, the, the crafty number seven. He was looking around trying to find Noah Vuna. Decided to go himself. The teenager with the headgear. There's Vuna Ayuta now. Over the top, assisted there by Jordan Miller. There's Jordan. And the 10 on his back, of course. One of the biggest front rowers. Going around in schoolboy footy. Now we're going to have time off here. Time off here. We've got a an injury. Jordan Miller's just coming over to have a chat with our referee in, in Luke Milligan. And credit also to all of our officials who will take part this year in the schoolboys. Today, of course, the touch judges are Zach Fairs and, and Kieran Casey. We couldn't do it without everyone's tremendous support. Now, this is what you don't want to see. Level of rugby league, we're going to, I would assume, have a, a long break each year. The trainer course is going over just try and identify the number plate just getting to his feet now as our pictures reveal here that's a face of frustration and that's team mateship at its absolute best here as they try and assist their teammate off the field under difficult circumstances. So the kick goes into touch and Hamlin sets it up here now for, for Woods. Drifting across field. Now this is Oliver Sykes. Right on the 40 metre line, back away from Hamlin. Finding Hayden Mitchell. So here's Porter. Hamlin. It was a beauty of a pass, wasn't it? If it was able to stick there. They were looking around for Henderson. But they're given a penalty here, right on the halfway line. So. They're not going to muck around and waste any time here. Down by 44 points to nil. They're going to shoot this in towards touch. The question is, will it find touch? No. Kicking into that gale. They found, couldn't find touch. The boots there of Charlie Henderson. So Fairfield come back away with it here. Taken down right on the halfway line. Seven tries. Seven absolute clinical rugby league tries. Absolutely clinical today. Here's Billy Arena. He's picked up three of those 
tries here today. There's an overlap to this side. This is a matter of putting it through the back line here. Funa Iluta does that. Ilavalu now. Ball comes out. Referee says play on here. Here's Daniels. Last tackle. So what are they going to do? They've surveyed their options. It's come off the ankle there of Chad Daniels. Well, the ball was right down towards his boot laces and it was spiraled right at his boots. They don't quite come back away with the the clever the clever halfback and just keeping an eye on him too. He's limping as he goes back into the defensive line for Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. So it could be a bit of a, a, a passenger here, the number seven, if they continue to come this short right, but they go away to the left. Here's Woods now. Great leg speed. They've got a penalty. Not back to 10. Jordan Miller just hanging down for too long a game but not back the 10 was the the decision by our, our referee in, in Luke Milligan so the ball's out the back door and Hatton goes away and fields it so that's where we are just short of the halfway line here the opening day of the Peter Maholland Cup live and exclusive in our third year streaming here on the Daily Telegraph website Great to have your company throughout the entire back end of the season as we head in towards the grand final in the months ahead. Who will make it to there? Here's Hamlin now. And he's turned over possession back to Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. This time, Will Wilson was in there for Farah. They run straight and hard now into Porter. As they try and get back up over the, the Farrah halfway. It's been a try scoring blitz here in the opening round of our competition. And I have a premonition we're going to see many more tries here today. Mawaga Tutia is with the footy. Dummying. Calhoun offloads and there's another one set up brilliantly by Calhoun good offloaded him one to watch for sure and he puts over another try for the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield brilliant work great sportsmanship but they read each other's plays tremendously well and it's been pretty much a disruptive lead up into today's clash, they tell me as well, for as far as Patrician Brothers go with, with the rain and trying to get, you know, training scheduled and trying to get combinations going for the start of the competition here today. But this has been a, an explosive performance on the back of limited preparation and they've just turned it on spectacularly Patrician Brothers of course what was it 1975 in the inaugural year of the, the schoolboy competition they got up and won just having a chance now as we see the kick just to go through a few of the highlights of the memorable successful years of the NRL Schoolboys Championship. What was it? We have to rewind the clock to 1978. When Peter Sterling was the player of the series as well. There's the kick. It's unsuccessful. In 1982, Paul Langmack and Greg Alexander was pretty much in the same winning team. Langmack went on to win the Peter Sterling medal. That followed a, a tremendous run in the 80s. In 83, they got up and won. Uh, what was that? Greg Alexander's. He started in that winning team. I think memory serves me right. Alexander went on to, to win that, the Peter Sterling medal. 
87 they got up, 92 they won. Andrew Hill, of course, the ex Bulldog CEO and Parramatta CEO, was the captain in this winning team. And Mori is assistant coach, and Justin Morgan was pretty much one of the, the main players. And of course, last year they were undefeated in the pool stages before COVID interrupted. So the the high flyers of our Peter Mulholland Cup, and rightly so. so. This is the last tackle now. Up it goes. Calhoun sends it into the end goal. There's going to be pressure here on Will Kelly. And it's going to result in a goal line dropout. So they'll have more possession here, the home side. And they'll be looking to crack 50 here. They've got a tremendous chance. Kicking into the breeze. And it's paid off for them. There's a mistake. Over there it is. Billy Arena on that right wing. Superb day. An individual tally of more than 12 points. Found his way to the try line on, on three occasions, has happening an absolute blinder of a game. As as Farrah now. Looking to lock horns in the scrum. There's Bill Hoods, just been told by our referee and Luke Mulligan to put his head into the scrum. There's Hamlin now finding Charlie Henderson. So back away from Porter. Given back now to Milsom. He's shown true taste of what he can bring to the game of rugby league. Very explosive, has he off the mark? Here's Henderson again. Milsom again. As Porter. Finding Henderson, short to Woods. He's got a dangerous offload at him, I'm led to believe. He's very powerful from the get-go. Here's Henderson kicking over the top. Hamlin's chasing. But Calhoun, he's the thief in the night. The ever-reliable fullback has come back away with it. He's got everything, hasn't he? An elusive ball runner. He's the goal kicker. He's wiry. He's strong. He's a try scoring machine from the back. A name to not mess up this year. Staying down in the tackle. Just a little bit too long for our referee's liking. There was Oliver Sykes. As Calhoun says, boys, let's kick it into touch. And that's where they are, just short of the halfway line. So inching their way down towards the 40. Strong defense there by Mitchell. Is the bopper Jordan Miller, the motor man, man of the match, Harold Matthews grand final, and we wish him all the best in trying to get into that Australian schoolboys team. Remember that name, Jordan Mitchell, Jordan Miller, had a blinder today, Jordan Miller. Lola here now. Stepping. Dangerous. Wow. What can... How many more words can you put into adjectives to describe what this man has done today? Sione Lola here. Drifting across the gold mouth. Took them on. And he said, well, if you're not going to tackle me, 
I'm going in for a four-pointer. He's just built like a back rower, isn't he? With speed. Great IQ. Gets the job done. And always gives it more than 100%. Now we're just going to keep an eye on Jordan Miller here. He's just going over to have a chat with the referee. And Luke Mulligan. Not 100% sure what that conversation could well be about. I don't think we can go in and have a listen to the referee. But now we see Calhoun. Well, he's, he's kicked them from pretty much all across the park today. Just taking his time now. Looking to knock this straight over the black dot and drill it towards the, the Canterbury, the Cabramatta Leagues Club here. Tremendous setup here too for the club and the field next door. It's a beauty, straight over the dot. Well, the scoreboard, it keeps on ticking on. We've cracked the 50, that's 54 points to nil. Thanks to the Daily Telegraph. And speaking of the Daily Telegraph, we all know that Rugby League is a part of the fabric of our communities in New South Wales and Queensland. And News Corp is very proud to be an important part of telling those stories from the grassroots to the elite level. For the third straight year, the Daily Telegraph will ride shotgun with the NRL throughout the season, live streaming all of the action of the Peter Mulholland Cup which is getting underway this week. And we have seen tries aplenty. And we're going to see more athleticism. We're going to see more skills. We're going to see more tries. Are we? Yes, we are. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jack Lee, I'm pretty sure it is, has picked up that sensational try in the corner. Wow. Well, that's what it's all about. The future stars of the NRL, the shining lights on a beautiful day here in Western Sydney. Absolutely superb rugby league. The Trishan Brothers of Fairfield running right on opening day of the Peter Mulholland Cup. They've raised the bar. I wonder what Taj Kaloon is just having a moment now to ask himself. This is probably his most difficult kick of the clash so far. From right out on the eastern touchline. Just making sure that that football stays on the mound with the with the gale that we're experiencing here throughout Sydney today. He's kicking straight into the body of that gale. Taking some last moments to hook this one back around, but it just falls short. Taj Cahoon. It's been up there with one of the players of the match for the Patrician Brothers. They're of course, sensationally around the field by Corey Lee and, and Chad Daniels. Jordan Miller has had an outstanding game. Now here, the dynamic number nine. Pretty much the entire clash, the entire sides had a tremendous opening round fixture. They've all done their part, all done their job. It's all about teamwork. And when you consider it's been a topsy-turvy preparation leading into today, they've put on an absolute spectacle. 58 points to nil. 
as they kick now in between the fullback and the winger. Going back away here is centre three quarter in Hatton. But the referee has said, unfortunately, Hatton, I've got to call that up. So can they crack 60? Well, they eyed off 50 and they're able to do that with almighty ease. This time, 60 points is on their radar. So you're here there just calling over Jordan Mitchell to, to pack into the scrum. Balloon, dangerous. Here's Chad Daniels, offloads it. Here they go, they've cracked 60. Brilliant work, brilliant work. Billy Arena scores another one. Well done. Impressive rugby league on our opening round of schoolboy footy on day one of the Peter Mulholland Cup. It's 62 points to nil with a kick to come. And the siren, folks, has gone in the background as well. So we'll just keep an eye on the goal kick. Looking to eye off 64 points to nil. It has been a romp. Bringing it back around. It's a ripper. Wow. Keep it low into this guile and bring it back around. Oh, they're loving it. You can't wipe the smiles off the Patrician brothers of Fairfield. And why should you? They've come here today and they have put the sword through Farrah full time in round one of the Peter Mahollan Cup. Congratulations to Patrician Brothers of Fairfield getting up by 64 points to nil. And don't forget, folks, we'll be back on air tomorrow. Big day of rugby league coming your way. I'll be heading out to Holy Cross. We look forward to your company then. But it is the Patrician Brothers of Fairfield's day to day. The final score, 64 points to nil over Farrah.